Legends, welcome to the very first episode of How to Become a Hunter. In this series, I'm going to be learning how to play Hunter Call of the Wild, and hopefully you can learn along with me. Over here, we've got my little friend Wilson, my tracking dog. He's going to help me uh, hunt down those big beasties and complete those missions. So what we're going to be doing today in this episode mostly is going through the beginner tasks and sort of getting a look around the area. Um, finding outposts and things like that and you know base just getting a feel for the game i haven't played it a lot so we, we definitely need to get a little feel of, of what it's all about so right now we're at one of the first i think it is actually the first outpost and we've got a task to travel to hope's camp so that is what we're going to do the view looks absolutely amazing right now Pop my map open. Hope's camp is there. We can set a little waypoint down and we can travel there. We can do it by quad or we can do it by foot. I think I'm going to do it by foot just in case we encounter any animals and I can get a little bit of uh, a little bit of practice in. So we're going to start making our way over to Hope's camp. I've got my binoculars ready just in case we see any animals and we can uh, go a little bit off track and get some practice in tracks here. So these are the tracks that you'll be following, things like this, and then you can mark them and then follow them through the tree. So we actually heard a moose over this way. I'm going to do it. We're going to go for it. Why not? Why not? Let's go have a look. So you've got to be very conscious of the wind direction. Also noise and obviously how well you're in cover. I think this might be a sleeping area. Be very, very quiet. Have a look. The rabbit resting zone. That is not a moose. Right, so I lost the tracks of the moose that we were following, but I'm going to follow these deer tracks because the droppings are fresh. And I want to see if we can actually find something to get um, get my eye in and, and, you know, get off the mark with a kill. Right, now I'm tracking this deer and I've just come across this bear. He's literally minding his own business just out in the, out in the open. We're going to try and get a shot on him. Wind's in our favor. He doesn't know we're here, so let's uh, let's see what happens. Right, so I've now found the tracks of the bear that I just saw, which is really cool. So if you spot them with the binoculars, you can actually find their tracks after that. I didn't know that, so that's really, really handy. Right, we're just coming over a ridge. Now, I've been tracking this bear for quite some time, and I think if we're going to see him, we'll see him here because there's a lot of open space. I think we need to maybe move a little quicker. Now, this is really interesting. There were actually rabbits running around all over here. We're still following the black bear trail. But there are so many rabbits here. We're getting very, very close to the bear now, I think. One eternity later. All right, we're just coming up to a watering hole now. Still on the trail of the black bear. There's a few deer over there. There's actually quite a lot. I think there's like six of them. That's pretty cool. Right, so what I've decided to do, and I don't know why I'm whispering, but I am. What I've decided to do, because we've lost the bear tracks just after I spotted those deer, but there's one, there's a deer right here that I've just seen. And there's a few over there as well. We're gonna, we're gonna try and sneak around and, and get a shot on these, I think. Just so that we can bag a kill. Oh my god, it's so close, look at those. They're all right there. Holy. There's no way they don't see me. That's a kill. That is an insta kill. Wow, that is crazy. Can we get him as well? Right, so we're going to go get this kill that was an instant kill that's incredible and um, so what we can actually do is get our dog to track the kill and he'll get xp for this 
if I let him go find that, he'll get XP for that. And then what we're going to do is track the blood trail of that one. There we go. So his tracker level's gone up now. We can confirm the trophy. Class 4 male. It's a gold. It's a gold kill. I think that's the level of the... Um, the animal i think it goes gold and then i think diamond is the one that everybody hunts like the trophy ones are diamonds so that's actually pretty good i'm happy with that so now what we're going to do this is the blood splat from the second deer that i that i hit we're going to get the dog to track this one as well because this one's also a kill you can see it through there so we actually bagged a double kill which is really really awesome we'll get wilson to uh spot that one for us and get him some more xp thank you very much wilson he got companion level there so they get a companion level and a tracker level and as you can see this trophy rating is 181 and it's a silver uh we hit it in the liver and the stomach that's actually a really good shot so as it lifted its back legs we got the shot underneath and through the stomach that's a really good shot i'm happy with that so when we come to this screen, as you can see, level 5 on the traits, we can now pick a trait for Wilson. Um, so with this trait here, your dog can skip detour tracks in favor of more recent clues. So we're going to unlock that. And then when he gets to 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, he gets other ones as well. So now what we're going to do, now that we've actually bagged a couple of kills and got our eye in and had a little look around and stuff, I'm going to actually go complete this task. Right, guys, we just made it down to the watering hole, and instantly there's like, I think they were moose. How do you say, what's, what's, is it plural? What is it? Mooses? Mises? I saw some Mises. Mises, Mises, I saw the Mises. The Mises saw the Mises too. Shut up, Jar Jar. I, I, I have no idea. But, um, I saw two of them. Two moose. Right, let's go back to the journey. Here we have a wild black bear in my sights. That's a level seven. That's a. It says very hard, and it's traveling, and it sees me. Look, it's looking at me. I'm gonna get my gun out. We're gonna, we're gonna take a shot at that. I tagged it. I think. I think I tagged it. I'm not entirely sure. Right, I found him again. He's right over there. I'm going to take the shot in a second. I'm just going to let my heart rate settle down a little bit. I think that's a miss. Hopefully we can uh, bag the kill. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm doing this completely wrong and I should be more patient, but... Oh, we got the kill! We got the kill! Let's go! You know, there's there's the right way and there's my way, you know? So here we are at the kill. I'm going to get Wilson to go over there and check that for us. Confirm the kill. Tracker level up. Let's go. Another gold kill. Difficulty seven very hard. I mean, you know. Both lungs. It must have been that final shot that I got it with. Just add an update to our uh, hope task. Camp Hope. Apparently there's going to be some tracks that we need to find. I can see them now. They're over there. Awesome. This... I'm going to build it. Hey, check it out. Hunting structures. Excellent for lure hunting. Animals will find it harder to detect you. You can go inside that and wait for animals. Oh, that's cool. Nice. I like that. Right, what have we got here? Inspect. Richard Hope's metis metis meticulously built survivalist camps can be found across the Lake District region. When hunting is your main source of sustenance, it's very important to have a few safe havens to rest at. You found them? Great. Snap some pictures for the record and see if they lead anywhere. Let's take a picture. Yeah, definitely human. Yeah. Looks like a troublemaker then. Now, I don't want you to go picking any fights, but maybe you could follow them and see where they lead. Who's following these tracks right now? 
Something in Some this tree? clothing. And no more tracks, huh? Well, just leave it for now, and I'll see what I can come up with. Wasting this my time, help, mate. Though. Thanks. Just, just wasting my time. Oh, we leveled up. We got two and a half grand for that as well. Let's go. Uh, we got a new task. We got two new tasks. Travel to Lake Chila. Lake Chila is all over there. Place a waypoint. So we've got uh, a skill point which we can use. I'm gonna look what we got here. So we've got locate tracks. Um, increase the distance at which tracks are visible and highlighted. That's awesome. Track knowledge reveals information about an animal's gender. Um, increase your visibility in foggy weather. Exploring in the wild has made you a survivor. Gain 15% increased health. I'm going to get the locate tracks one. And we're going to go with that. Awesome. Happy days. Right, legends. That is the end of episode one of Becoming a Hunter. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like. And let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these videos. If you want me to do a full series on this, I am more than happy to do a full series on this, but I need to know that you guys want to see it. So thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you on the next one.